Hello! Welcome to another Maker Space at Home. How is everybody doing out there? James Workman, I miss you guys so much. I hope that you're having fun doing these fun activities with me. I really enjoy making them. So, um, hopefully we did deliveries this morning. Hopefully you got your bag with your goodies. I put some, all kinds of different crafting stuff in there. And um, also in your bags should be some packages of seeds or a package of seeds. So what you're going to need to make um, the seeds that we're going to be doing today is you need some kind of dirt. Um, you could go dig outside and get something out of your garden. That would be fine. Or if you actually have some dirt, um, I got this at the hardware store. That's great. Um, better quality dirt, more chance of your vegetables growing, of course. Your package of seeds, you need a empty um, egg carton. And I've been saving my shells from when I make eggs and you will need your egg shells. All right, that's all you'll need. So gather your supplies and then come back and start the video. Right, so once you have all your supplies, we're going to take our eggs, and they should be as neatly as you can in half, and we're gonna put a hole, because they have to be able to drain. So you're gonna put a hole, and I'm just gonna use some scissors, but you could use a pin, and you're just gonna poke a hole in the bottom so you have a little drainage. All right, and then you want one for each of your cartons, or however many seeds you're gonna plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a hole in the bottom. All right, now I have my shells all in there. They're gonna be my little plant holders and a lot of us have been doing some gardening. I've been doing a lot of gardening, and um, this is a great time of year to start a little garden. It's spring, and we're just gonna put a little bit of dirt in each little pot. Not full, because we wanna put our seeds in, so we want a little bit on the bottom, and then we'll put our seeds, and then we'll put a little bit on top. So this is a great way, and you make sure when you put these, you need to put them somewhere where they're gonna get some light, because if you remember our science lessons, photosynthesis requires our plants have light in order to grow. Without light, they can't grow. And what else are they gonna need? They need food, which is in the soil, and of course, water. And you don't wanna overwater them because you can drown plants. So you want to put them someplace light. And to start out, I would recommend indoors, especially it's getting a little warm out there for us here in the desert. And you don't want them to get burnt. So we want to put them indoors, but somewhere where they can get some nice light. All right, so I'm going to try some carrots and whatever seeds you want to do. We also have been saving seeds from our fruits that we've been having, our fruits and vegetables. We've got some um, seeds from our bell peppers. So if you wanna, and we don't wanna put too many, but just enough. So I'm gonna do a couple of carrots. And then this is the hollyhock. So some flowers. And hopefully these will grow well in the desert. I just had a friend of mine who's going to the hardware store just grab me a bunch of different seeds. So I'm not really sure what's gonna grow here in the desert and what isn't. But we will see. Let's see what else we got here. I'd like to do fruits and vegetables. Ooh, how about some beetroot? I love beetroot in my salad. So we'll do some beetroot. And, ooh, pumpkin. I'm excited about that. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. So let's do a couple pumpkin seeds in there. Couple pumpkin seeds in there. And a good idea, so we remember what is what, is maybe to write down what each different fruit and vegetable is. 
Or you could just wait till the end and be surprised. Oh, I forgot I planted that. Um, I've got some cucumber. How fun would it be to do some cucumber? All right, so we're gonna plant some cucumber. And you can always save the seeds out of your cucumbers that you eat as well. And how about some sunflowers for the last one? I love sunflowers. So we're gonna put a few sunflowers in there. And then we're gonna add some more dirt. So here we go. Add the dirt. Make sure it's very nicely. And then we're going to water them a little bit every day, but just a few drips. It doesn't need a whole lot. You do not want to drown these. And remember that's paper underneath, so we don't want to get it too wet. We just want to keep it moist. That's the best thing to do. And then when the seedlings get going, and they're kind of outgrowing these little containers, then you can replant them in your garden. And in a few months, you will have some beautiful vegetables and flowers. So I've got my beautiful seeds in my egg carton. I'm gonna find a sunny place to put them. I'm gonna water them every day. Just a few little drizzles. I don't want them to be soaked. And then we will see what sprouts. I'll make sure I include that in the video when I do it next time. Bye everybody. Next Makerspace activity I'm really excited is we're going to be making um, something for Harry Potter Club. So we're going to be doing, um, you know, the candles that hang in the ceilings of the Great Hall. We're going to be making floating candles. I'm so excited. All right, so if you didn't get a um, bag this week of craft materials, make sure you text or email me or um, put a message on our Google Classroom saying that you would like a bag next week. I'll make sure I include some seeds and the candles, the tea lights actually, that we will be using for our next Makerspace. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.